Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel Panther Schools. My name is Amit Singh and in this video we are going to talk about how we can create a secure HTTP connector. So earlier what we used to do is we used to create the HTTP connector that is not secure. So the protocol is HTTP. In this video we are going to see how we can make our connection secure with the protocol HTTPS. Before we go ahead please give it a like share subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from our channel now let's get started this is a sample project that i have created with a simple logger here all we need to do is we need to drag and drop the listener into the source section it is going to drop the listener for us and you will see the properties are automatically open we need to click on this plus icon while we are within this listener to create the connector for our listener and you will notice by default the protocol is HTTP and the port is 8081. I'm going to change the port to 8082 and protocol from HTTP to HTTPS. And let's test the connection. Now, if you test the connection, you see that connection is not working because it says there is no TLS context configured for our configuration HTTP connection listener. And if you see within connector, there are within connection, there are three tabs general tls and advanced so we need to go to tls tab to configure our connector to make sure it is uh, secure and under tls configuration you will find two options edit inline and global reference we are going to use edit inline and you will see there are so many fields that are now being populated and we need to these fields are available now we need to provide the values to these fields and what we are going to work is we are going to work with this key store configuration area not trust store and not advanced and this takes what is the type so we are going to work with the jks file then it takes path alias password and what algorithm we have but we don't have any of these details as of now so what we will do is we'll change the connector name to https listener config and click on ok so to make our connector configurable that is to configure for tls for https what we need is we need a key store file we need a jks file and for that we need to run a command so you could see here we've got a, a command here we got a, key tool is a tool which helps us for generating the jks file dot jks file and this is the command and the command is very easy i'll provide into the pinned comment so you can get that command key tool hyphen generate key it's a gen key it's going to generate the key what kind of file we wanted to generate is key store file the name of our file and then these are some of the parameters that we need to provide like alias it could be anything by default it is ssl for me key algorithm it is rsa there could be multiple algorithms what is the signing algorithm? It is SHA-256 with RSA. What is the validity? You can provide the number of days. By default, I have given as 365, that is one year. What is the key size? 2048. So all you need to do is, you need to run this command, generate the JKS file, and put that JKS file within SRC main resources folder. So what we will do is, I'm going to copy this command. You're going to right click on this folder src main resource and then click on so in system explorer so if you click on system explorer it's going to open the folder for you into the system explorer wherever your folder is so you could see here i've got within main i've got java mule and resources and we need to open the terminal here so if you are in mac os do the right click and select new terminal at folder and if you are on windows you just need to go to within the folders and then open the terminal the command from there now when we are within this resources folder we need to just paste the command that we have copied and hit enter so once you hit enter it is asking for the key store password so i'm going to say mine is password so i've just provided the password now it is asking the name so just provide the name what is your organizational unit what is the name of your organization you could provide anything any random values city state and country and then it is going to tell you that okay this is what information you have provided is it correct 
and you can say yes and a jks file will get generated within your folder called resource you could see here a key store.jks file has been generated just go ahead and copy the name of this file because we will need it now get back to our project that is uh, the project we are working with do the right click on the same folder and refresh it to see that there is a key store.jks file available now again get back to the listener component and click on edit and let's get back to tls we are in within inline edit now what we need to do is we need to provide the path so this is going to by default refer to src main resources so we just need to provide the name of our file so if you have a different name you could provide the different name in alias what was the alias that you provided in your command so in my case the alias was ssl so we need to provide ssl as alias if you have changed it like mule or mule soft you need to use that then what is the password so i provided password as password itself and we don't need to worry about the algorithm go ahead and click on test connection and we are still getting the error it says uh, key store must be configured for server ssl in configured okay you can just go ahead and click on okay do save it again and then again open this uh, listener and then click on test connection and you could see the connections has been successfully established so sometimes it, it happens so if you don't uh, see the successful connection at first just go ahead click on ok and then again edit the connector configuration it is going to work perfectly fine now let's provide the path here so i've given the path as hello here and now we are going to add a transform message after logger or before logger and within the transform message we could just put any message that we want uh, the user to see okay so i have just added a simple json file as a message where i'm adding a key as message saying max the mule using secure endpoint and now let's go ahead and run this application so do the right click and select your project run and you your project is going to run and within few seconds our project would be ready for testing so you could see here our application is deployed in deployed status clearly see now let's get back to our postman the web service testing tool and this time instead of http we are going to use a https and then we'll say local host that is our host colon 8082 and then hello is our path and if you hit enter you would see there is a 200 request that you have got okay and this is what the message we have got our protocol says it is https you clearly see here on the top you can go to the browser as well because it is a get request and you could just hit a enter it says https just go ahead and click on advance and proceed to localhost and you will see here so the protocol says https so that is how you would uh, be able to clearly configure the secure http for your milsoft project and you can deploy it to the cloud up for making it secure so this is it for this video thank you for your time and we will meet into the next videos